What's up guys, this is Sony back with another video and today real quick I want to talk about uh, two Intel uh, CPUs uh, Intel just released I believe last week So sometimes I'm not exactly sure but uh, today you guys can see there's two CPU right here I'm on Micro Center website big shout out to Micro Center for their crazy deal because Micro Center does sell uh, Intel and AMD CPU uh, cheaper compared to like Amazon or uh, Newegg so first thing you guys can see we have a uh, new uh, Intel Core i3 9100 Coffee Lake R CPU Coffee Lake R's okay so this uh, R for refresh right all right so the reason I like this CPU like if you guys are in a budget and you guys want to build like an Intel based hacking torch uh, this CPU for around $120 is a pretty good CPU. I believe New X selling this CPU for $130. I wouldn't really pay $130 for this CPU, but I think $120, I think a pretty good price. So you guys can see uh, the base clock is 4.2 gigahertz, does work with your LGA uh, 1151 motherboard. Now remember guys, the CPU is a quad core CPU, okay? So you get four core, no hyper threading. So let's just jump into spec. So, all right, so you guys can see it does work with Intel B360, uh, H310, H370, uh, Q370, all right, uh, then uh, Z370 and Z390. Now, I don't know about, uh, I don't know if the CPU will work with B360, H360, and H370 or Z370 without updating the motherboard BIOS. I know out of the box, the CPU will work with the Intel Z390 uh, motherboard. But again, uh, if you're buying from Micro Center, you can ask, uh, you know, uh, the salesperson, like if this CPU will work with this uh, motherboard. Uh, maybe sometime they will charge money to update but you know it's okay but always confirm before uh, buying anything now uh, you guys can see the base clock is 4.2 gigahertz and turbo boost up to uh, 4.2 gigahertz it's a quad core cpu uh, you know four processing cores so there is no hyper threading uh, does come with level 3 cache uh, 6 mb shared and also uh, the cpu uh, uh, thermal power is 65 uh, watts, so the 65 watt TDP CPU and the processor uh, architecture is 14 nanometers. So basically, the CPU is the uh, just the refresh of uh, uh, Coffee Lake. <clears throat> and also, uh, the CPU does come with Intel UHD Graphics 630. Now, you guys know um, the CPU I'm running right now, Core i5 9400F, doesn't come with Intel uh, UHD uh, graphics built in. Now again, uh, if you are planning on using the CPU with Hack and Torch, you can take advantage of the Intel Quick Sync if you're using like iMobi Final Cut Pro. Somebody asked me in the comment section that why do you need Intel UHD Graphics 6, uh, 630 when you are using a Vega graphics card? The Vega graphics card is fast, okay, for rendering with like iMobi or Final Cut. But if you combine Intel UHD Graphics 630, then your rendering time will be a lot faster than just RX Vega you know so and, and if you are exporting your video with H.264 then you will get the benefit of Intel QuickSync so the CPU does come with Intel QuickSync maximum uh, memory support uh, 64 gig uh, memory type DDR4 2400 so it seems like a pretty good CPU if you guys are planning on building an Intel base hack and touch now we have one more CPU I want to talk about <clears throat> so let's just go back so the second one they released uh, Intel uh, i5 9400 now the one I have Intel i5 9400 F okay so the F doesn't come with Intel built-in UHD graphics 630 but this one does come that's why the price uh, for this one hundred and eighty nine dollars so around like hundred and ninety dollars I think the price is a bit high now if you compare this with like maybe uh, i5 8400 so this one basically have similar spec like the i5 uh, 8400 now you guys can see a lot of people bought this CPU because there is only one in stock right so let's just look at this uh, okay before you look at that so you guys can see it's an intel core i5 9400 it's a six core cpu coffee like r refresh and then the base clock is 2.9 gigahertz and uh does work with your uh intel 3000 uh, series uh, chipset so let's just jump in 
Uh, it does work with the similar motherboard starting from B360 all the way to Z390. Again, if you're planning on using this CPU with uh, like a B360 or any like uh, anything below Z390, I think you need to update the motherboard wise. But please confirm with the salesperson when you buy the uh, CPU and the motherboard. Even you buying from Newegg, just confirm with their customer service before you buy. Uh, also, sometimes they have like a little like a little uh, sticker or something on the box that you know you will just mention works with the uh, <coughs> latest CPU so in nine gen CPU so just confirm with that. Now you guys can see the opera, uh, operating frequency. The, so the base clock is uh, 2.9 gigahertz turbo up to 4.1 uh, gigahertz. So this CPU is a uh, six core. Uh, so basically six processing thread. There is no hyper threading. Also the CPU does work with LGA uh, 1151 socket. Okay, and um, those come with uh, level two cache uh, 1.5 MB and also level three cache 9 MB. Uh, the CPU TDP is around 65 watt. And also it's a uh, uh, processor architecture is uh, 14 nanometers. So no, it's not 10 nanometer. No, it's not seven nanometer. It's a 14 nanometer. And also does come with uh, graphics. Uh, so built-in graphics. So compared to my i5 9400F, i5 9400F doesn't come with Intel built-in graphics. So with this i5 9400, you get Intel UHD graphics 630. And uh, so if you are uh, planning on using this CPU in your Hackintosh build, you can take advantage of the Intel QuickSync while you're uh, exporting rendering your video with uh, codec uh, H.264. Then your built-in graphics will be really helpful okay and if you can combine that with like a rx480 rx580 or rx vega then you are golden so that's one thing i really like that and also maximum memory support 120 gig and also memory type ddr4 2666 that's really cool uh memory channel support uh two yeah so guys, for gaming, this CPU should be a great CPU for gaming. This CPU should be uh, great for uh, you know your a Hackintosh build. So if you guys are into gaming and Hackintosh, like a dual boot, the CPU should be really good. Again, I'm making this video for only the Intel guys. Uh, if you guys are into like AMD, uh, AMD builds and you are planning on building like an AMD Hackintosh, you guys can watch my video and you know what I recommend. But if you're into Intel, then this video should be for you. Also. Uh, you guys can see here uh, the Intel uh, Core i3 9100 is also a great CPU for gaming because it does come with base clock all the way up to like 4.2 gigahertz. But again, like I say, this video is for you Intel guys. If you already have a uh, Intel motherboard, uh, Intel uh, 300 series motherboard, you can utilize, you can pick up this CPU for like $120 and you do have a uh, you know base clock all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz and the boost clock uh, 4.2 gigahertz so your single core performance should be really good with this uh, quad core CPU but again do we need a quad core CPU 2019 so I don't know it's up to you guys um, let me know what do you guys think I'm just making this quick update video and I'm just sharing with you guys but let me know what do you guys think you know let me know if you guys think uh, buying intel core i3 9100 or intel core i5 9400 worth it because you know ryzen 3000 series cpu will release soon so i don't know guys leave your comment in the comment section i'll be more than happy to uh answer you guys question and just making this quick video so i can give you guys quick update all right guys see you guys next one peace